Ammonite from the Jurassic Coast. Look at that one. What a difference a day makes along the Jurassic Coast. The river level has dropped and the sea is not as high as it was. As the sea is not very rough, I can look out to sea in the rock pools for fossil finds. Two little birds there, picking off the shrimps and sea creatures. A nice low tide to go fossil hunting on. And I've spotted here in a rock pool a small crinoid stem. You see a lot of piddocks around, but can you spot the fossil crinoid stem? It's a very beautiful day along the Jurassic coast. Well, you can really see where there has been a lot of movement in terms of landslide movement down here in the distance as I pad up. Well, it's just really gorgeous out here today. The sun's out. Feels a bit more spring-like after all the cold weather and especially the rainy weather that's made you feel so cold out here. Let's go and find some fossils. I'll do a bit of sieving. Well, let's get the sieving work done here on the Jurassic Coast in the good patches of pyrite. That is a piece of pyrite. I've heard people mention that they think those are coprolites. That's just a piece of the fool's gold. Let's uh, sift through there. Just out in the corner there, I found a bit of the cubic variety of the pyrite. So let's have a look and tell me if I'm missing anything. Not that, I haven't missed that one. Look at that, that's a nice ammonite preserved in the fool's gold. Let's bring it right into the screen. There's a bit of bone there as well. Very uh, nondescript piece. Any more bits in my sieve? Oh, uh, just a broken one right at the top here. No, I haven't picked it up yet. There we go, a broken piece of an ammonite. And I've dropped my other one into the rock pool, which I must try and find now. Well, I'm quite far out to sea now at low tide, and you can see down here in this rock pool, area. Can you spot a bellum knight? Well, there's quite a nice piece of fossilized wood here, probably monkey puzzle tree from the Jurassic period. You can see some nice structure there. And over to one side is a nice little nodule. Let's give that a tap, see what's in that. Well, hopefully I've got a good range of fossil bearing nodules now on the beach, nice and round. And here is one time for a spot of lunch before I break these stones up. Just sitting round the outside of that rock. Nothing in. 
That's the little one there. Well, have a look at this lovely translucent ammonite from the Jurassic Coast. Look at that one. Let's try and get in closer. And then here are some of the little nodules. That one there in the rock, plus two, a bigger rock, and that's filled with a load of calcite shining away. Dark clouds on the fossil walk today, looks like rain again. Well, this is all the mud and mess I was filming yesterday when I did the video fossil hunting tips and tricks. If you look really closely there, that front edge is really moving, pushed on by the material coming down from behind. Do you remember I was filming here and now look at it, great big muddy balls on the beach of that lias material and more stormy weather on its way to bring the landslides down today and a lot more mud slips. Well, last but not least on my fossil walk today, a nice shark's fin spine. Need quite a bit of preparation work that, but it'll come out very nicely that piece. Looks like the tide's coming in. The fossils are forever until they hit the beach and then they are no more. The sea does the work to destroy the fossils, but also to reveal those fossils on the shoreline for you to find at low tide. You must be aware of the dangerous cliffs. They are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Thanks very much for watching this video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. A big swell in the sea, I wonder what It'll be washing out for you and me tomorrow and the next days at low tide. And you can see those dangerous cliffs